Welcome back guys, uh, it's currently 12.40 in the p.m. Uh, I just got all the camera stuff charged up, ready to go for tomorrow. Got all the fishing stuff ready, just got rigged up and uh, tomorrow we're going to be going out and catching uh, some of the prettiest fish around. But for now, I got to get some sleep because we're waking up early. See you tomorrow morning. Six a.m. Time to fish. All right, guys. We made it to the beautiful park that we're starting at. Uh, we'll be walking up and down this river, trying to go for some nice rainbows that were just stocked a few weeks ago. Um, it's about 40 degrees out, 6:45 a.m., and hopefully we're fishing by seven. So uh, I don't really know what to expect, but uh, trout opener was literally two days ago, and. I mean, they should be biting. It's a nice cold morning in here in Minnesota, so we'll see what we can get. Today's gonna be strictly GoPro. Um, we're just walking over here to the river bank right up here. Uh, strictly GoPro due to the fact that I don't want to ruin the big camera. I'll slip in or something and have all my camera gear get soaked. That's not in a waterproof bag or backpack. And uh, so, mainly GoPro today. We'll be getting in deep probably. Uh, I'll probably about waist deep will be the max I'll go. I got some stuff in my pouch, waders pouch here. A couple split shots, a few extra GoPro batteries and SD cards. And then I also have uh, the worms that I'm gonna be using. So for today, I'm gonna be using just a simple gold hook, but a medium size. You can pick anywhere in uh, size of it. I like to choose gold. It gives it a little extra flash and uh, I don't know. I just think it works a lot better. And then I'm using a, I don't even know, this is a 7 or a size 7 or a 7 or a 9 I guess. And then we're going to be looking for some nice trout behind stuff like that. That tree right there. And then uh, we'll let this thing float down and jig it up. And then uh, let the this one to float down. I'm going to try to keep my rods on shore as much as I can. So just in case, but yeah, I'm excited. Hopefully we catch some fish. Alright guys, I think I'm going to hop in right here. We're going to start out with this. We're going to start out with this 7 or this little rapper here. Just got uh, black, and, black and gold. So, no holes in the waders, please. So we're going to be kicking up a lot of stuff here as we walk to the middle. We're just going to let this thing let the debris float down a little bit here. Along with my guy here. This reel is squeaky. Oh, first fish. Oh my god. First cast, guys. No way, guys. I told you you just missed that fish. Dude. Right on here. First cast, guys. Smoked. Nothing super big. Most likely when a trout feels the hook like that, they're not going to come back. We're going to try this out. Just a little night collar on the hook. that they're right in there dude they are all up in that back brush oh, the heck. I missed that one 
They did not feel hooked there. That was straight. Come on. Oh my god. Dude, no way. That one was a bigger one. That was the biggest bite I felt so far. I wonder if they're just not grabbing. I'm gonna push this up further. And put it like that. I mean, it's kind of looking like that, but there you go. All right, we're right down in there. Yeah, I'm holding it right here. Dude, I was right in there for that. The sun's just about to gonna start to come up. I wanted to get one before the sun comes up. get another shot though that was that's pretty unreal three bites off this tree here I can't be missing oh my dude there's no way there is absolutely no way are they just nibbling at this thing that one I set are decently hard like on the front side of it. All they have to do is come out and nibble it. Probably all of them, t all of them on this little bend is taking a shot at it. Oh my gosh, yeah, like that. Right there, you see that? Got one. Got one, guys. Guys, you got one. Nice one. Got it out of there. Got it out of there. Oh, nice, guys. That was awesome. That was insane. This is a nice one, guys. Oh, my gosh. Look at it right there. Look at that beautiful color. Guys, this is what it is all about right here. Let's go. Guys, right in the top of the mouth. Nowhere to go. Guys, these things are the slimiest little buggers ever. Holy beauty of a fish right here, guys. Oh, my. Right in the side of the mouth. Couldn't have asked for a better hook. I'm going to try to get a nice. Look at this, guys. Oh, here. Let me get him. Oh, yeah. This water's nice and freezing. He's such a strong fish. Look at him try. I am not keeping these today. But look at that, guys. Look at that. Look at how pretty it is. That is a solid fish right there, guys. All right, let's let him back. Perfect release. All right, let's go ahead and another bend. That is what we were looking for right there. Wow. Hard work paid off right there. So I'm kicking up all this stuff right now. That could either hurt or help, honestly. Um, I try to walk on as much rock as I can. Bigger rock, that is. Kick up less stuff. Um, if there is stuff that where the trout have, like, I don't know, bugs or stuff like that laying underneath rocks and I kick it up, that's when it's good. I was just walking down the path and I just walked up on this spot here. I got a little too close for my liking and I think for the trout's liking. So I'm going to hit this spot and on the way back, but it is a deep cut that goes about, I'd say, four feet down, maybe, or four feet max down. That looks really, really nice. Alright guys, we're about halfway through our journey today of trout fishing the Little Vermilion River. Um, one trout only so far. The sun came up now, the wind's picked up a tiny, tiny bit. It's nice because the woods block it all, but I'm really hoping to get a few more here on a couple of these deep cuts like that uh, behind some branches. We're definitely going to hit a few spots on the way back that I saw fish. I'll give each of those a few casts, but I'm really hoping to get a few more here. I got high hopes with uh, the early action this morning, so uh, hopefully we can get some fish here.
Alright guys, I just got back to the car. I don't even know what time it is, I haven't checked yet. Um, but right now, there's a bunch of other fishermen showing up, which I expected. I got out here pretty early so that there wouldn't be. But uh, I gotta retie real quick because I snapped up on a tree downstream. And I'm gonna go try that spot where I caught the other fish at uh, that you will see that you saw earlier in the video, I guess. Um, and hopefully get one more, but I do have to head back soon. I have a class starting uh, for online classes for college. So we're gonna tie up real quick, go try to get one or two more on there because I got plenty more bites. The wind's picking up, and uh, we'll get out of here with hopefully three fish. I'm gonna go up here just a little bit and let it drift down. So I guess this is where they let the fish in. When DNR stocks this every year, this is where all the fish get let in. So, I mean, we're three days later from when they stocked it, I think. Because Friday, so if they stock it Friday morning, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, today's Monday morning. So that's big. So you could, if you come here on Saturday, I can't even imagine. That's why he saw 40 fish here, because they dump in 2,000 fish probably. I need to check the numbers on that, but if they jump in, if they dump in 2,000 fish, and you got 40 that stay here, where did the, oh, here we go, I got one. I just had one. Oh, no way. Groups, I just had one. So what I'm doing here is just putting it upstream right up here. Opening up the bale, letting it just float down normally. I have a really light split shot, not even heavy enough to bring it down below this current. And it's suspending almost, like perfectly. And then I just give it some taps every once in a while, and. or something. I just had a little bit. There we go. Yeah. There we go, guys. That's what we're looking for. Nice brown. Oh no, rainbow, rainbow. Stocked rainbow. Yeah, yeah, I know. There you go, guys. Look at that. I knew I felt him. These things are so feisty. Look at that. He's just trying to work his way out of it. He's angry. So thanks to these boys out here showing me this spot, that's huge. Hi guys, just got back to the car, got a few nice trout today, let me know if you guys like this, comment down below, uh, and if you did like this, please remember to like and subscribe, uh, let me know what you think I should do for the next video, and uh, remember, always keep fishing.